Oh, I'm sensing a story here. I guess you could say that. You don't sound super happy about being back. What's up? Yeah, I think you'll figure it out once you meet the others. Others? You mean we're going to meet more old builders? Still don't like it when you call us that. Yep, but I gotta warn you, they're not as friendly as I am. I'm probably the, uh, nicest old builder. Uh-huh. Old builder social politics. My goodness. Yikes. If you're the nicest old builder, these other ones must be really terrible. Hey, too mean. I'm trying to help here, all right? Well, you're gonna give us the Atlas and then we can go home, right? Kind of. The Atlas isn't exactly mine to give. It belongs to the other, uh, old builders. And, well, they might not want to give it up. Why do I get the feeling there's a lot you're not telling us? Harper, I thought that's why we brought you. To convince... ...to do my best, but I warn you now that there could be complications. What kind of complications? You'll see when you get there. Jesse, come here. Are you sure we can trust Harper? Look at all of our interactions with her so far. They haven't exactly been great, remember? Sort of late in the day to bring this up, don't you think, Lucas? Hey, I'm just trying to be cautious, okay? I want all of us to get home in one piece. And we're going to, okay? We just need to get that atlas. I appreciate the vote of confidence, Jesse. Sorry, I just couldn't resist a good eavesdrop. I promise I'm trying to help, Lucas. You just gotta go through there. A, a door? Like a regular door? Time to step through and find out. Ah! Very what? bright! I see a thing. Before you go in there, I have one more piece of advice. Don't die! What? <gasps> TNT back of the gladiators. Nice one, bro. Who do you think you are? Whoa. Now, I think... Ah! Dude, dude, dude. Stop! I can tell you dudes are all angry, and I totally feel bad, but I promise I do not make the rules here. That's them. 
Yes, we are the ones in charge here. And we have never had to stop a match. Ever. It definitely is strange, Mevia. What is going on here? I want an explanation. Immediately. This is going to require some reconfiguring of the stats, for sure. Okay, you're in charge. Awesome. Now, can you just explain what the heck is going on here? What's going on here is... Attacking competitors? Horrid! And technically against the rules. Ugh, lashing out just because your friends were eliminated. Kind of sore loser behavior, don't you think, sport? It is part of the games. Oh, I've got a game we could play. I'll go first. Okay, just tell me straight. What are these games that you keep talking about? I think if we all just calm down, I can explain. Your friends aren't dead. Wait, what? How? When people are eliminated in the games, they don't die. <laughs> that would be wasteful. Obviously. They come back, and then we have them go work in the mines. Jesse! <gasps> Your friends are alive and well. Where are you taking them? To the mines. Mm -hmm. They're going to mine for quartz until they get their next shot. It's called respawning, champ. We're not monsters. <laughs> in our games, when people die, they reappear in one of our respawn zones. I hear it's still pretty painful, though. Well, Sport, now that you've come and interrupted our games, I'm sure our fans would love to know how you got here. Spill! Oh, why bother? They all end up in the mines. I don't think that's any of your business. Well, that's cute. Almost as cute as you'll look down in the mine, Slugger. <laughs> uh, let's not get hot-headed, Hadrian. Jesse's with me. Well, if it isn't Harper. I must say, this return is unexpected. You're telling me I'm here for Jesse. Oh, really? So tell me, Jim, why do you think Harper brought you here? My bet's on Pet. That'd be pretty cute, right? Oh, adorable! We came for the Atlas. I want you to hand it over so my friends and I can go home. Straight into the point. Well, I'd like it. If I weren't simmering with barely controlled rage right now! Hmm. We're, of course, not going to do any of those things, but admirable try. Well, that's all well and good, but I'm confused. Why would we give anything to someone like you? You weren't invited. And you interrupted Spleef. Because I have something you want. Oh? <laughs> you must be joking, Hadrian. Joking. Oh, jokes! Ha <laughs> ha! Hilarious! Nope. Not joking. I doubt you'd have anything that would interest us. Oh, send them to the mines. What about this? <gasps> I present the Redstone Heart. Huh. Seems like only yesterday someone took off of that and vowed never to return with it. Oh, but I didn't bring it back. Jesse did. Thing's no toy, Slugger. How about you just hand it over, huh? It could be, uh, pretty dangerous if you don't know how to use it. Oh, I've got you interested now, don't I? You've certainly got my attention, yeah. Here's the way my offer works. You give me the heart. You and your friends go back down to those portals. I never look at your insignificant face again. Wait, without the Atlas? But how will we get home? Oh, not my problem. This is a one-time offer. I don't play that way, Hadrian. If I can't have the Atlas, you can't have the Redstone Heart. Come on, gang, let's get out of here. Oh, wait, 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 wait. I'm, I'm sure we could reach an agreement that suits everyone. Well, kiddo, I admit, you do drive a hard bargain. <laughs> I'm sure I can think of something fair for the both of us. Well, you need the Atlas. And I need competitors. 
After your unexpected intrusion, I seem to be short a team. So how about this? You play in the games. If you win, the Atlas is yours to keep. It's a good deal, Jesse. Trust me. I still don't trust you. Don't you worry, Jesse. Once a rule is written into the bylaws, we make sure it's enforced. Isn't that right, Hadrian? Oh, yeah. Otto is a real stickler for the rules. Hmm. All right, then. I suppose we can carry forward with the official oh, addendum. Enough. Add it on your own time. Oh, but there's one other thing I want. If they lose, Harper has to go to the mines, too. Oh, gravel. Harper, want to be a friend and show our new competitors to where they'll be staying? Sure thing. Jesse, this was not part of the plan. Wrapped up in one of Hadrian's deals. Ugh! He's not one to let other people get the upper hand, you know. Harper, how bad is this gonna be? Give it to me straight. It's not gonna be a cakewalk, that's for sure. Hadrian has people play the games now just for his own amusement. Yeah, he seemed like a real treat. Ugh. I'm, I'm sorry, okay? I really am. Let me show you where the competitor village is. Travel here to play in the games. At least until the others ruined it. What happened? Hadrian and Mevia let power go to their heads. They started pitting people against each other, just for sport. Forcing people to be here. It isn't right. Come on, I'll show you where you'll be staying. Well, here it is, the competitor village. Sort of a home away from home for all the people playing the games. Wait, are all of these people competitors? Yep. At least the ones who aren't stuck working in the quartz mines. Those poor souls are just waiting for their next shot. Mining is tough work. I feel bad for the people that are too scared or weak to play in the games. Wow, that's just horrible. I know. They didn't make a deal like you did, Jesse. They're stuck here till they win the games. And what if they lose? Hadrian sends them to toil in the mines. If they're lucky, they'll get another shot at the games. But it might take a while. I'm gonna go confer with Otto. We go way back, and, well, he's usually the most reasonable of the three. Wait, we still haven't found Lucas or Ivor. Ugh, I'm thinking that Hadrian must have sent them through the portal to the mines. Which is technically against the rules. No one's supposed to go there until their whole team is eliminated. Hadrian always was one for maximizing useful uh, productivity. See what you can do here. I'm going to try and find Otto. I've got confidence in you, Jesse. You might just get out of this. we got to get our friends out of the mines quick. I'll go ask some of the other competitors. Hey, that's Lucas's journal. You say something, Tiny? Because I'm trying to read here. Hey, where'd you get that book you're reading? Oh, this? Fished it out some respawn's inventory after he... He's got some tales of adventure, feelings, and other dumb stuff. Hey, wait a minute! You're the pipsqueak that knocked me out of my tower. Yeah, and this belonged to that little blonde buddy of yours. Let me guess. You want this back? Because I'm actually enjoying myself. There are some fascinating and thrilling tales in here. Hey, don't get too steam. Maybe we can make a deal? And slab the immovable! 
Oh, we can make a deal. If you do everything I say, when I say it, and don't make me mad again, maybe I'll consider giving you this stupid book back. <sighs> You a big fan of Tim? <laughs> oh, forget I asked. Hey, Jesse. Finding your way around all right? Yeah, starting to. Nice. You know, this place would actually be a blast if it weren't for the whole against their will thing. I mean, Spleef was awesome, but a little bit of the fun gets taken away when you're forced to do something. Totally agree. The actual game was fun. It just stinks that all this has to be part of it. I just hope we can get home soon. I'm a little creeped out by the people that run this place. Let's keep trying to find Ivor and Lucas. Agreed. Aha! Uh -huh. There's our nether portal. Um, hello? Don't you hello, face meat! Wait a minute, you're the cheater that blew up my friend, Slab! And face meat doesn't like cheaters. Don't stand around breathing a ball of face meat air! Do you know where my friends are? In the mines! Duh! And they're not going anywhere. Not on face meat, watch! That doesn't mean just stand there. Please, pretty please let them go? Face me knows not to let prisoners out. Oh, but giant eyes. Oh. Well, there is something you can do. Face me was busy slamming mad reps at the gym and missed lunchtime. You see? So face me's hungry. Do something about that, and face me'll think about getting your friends out. Space. Looks like everyone's working hard. Oh, smells like it too. Whoa, it's you from Spleef. You were like amazing. I know. And I am so super sorry about your friend. I get your probs upset. Especially since you had no idea what was going on. <laughs> I understand, Nell. These games are nuts. Man, I am so glad to hear that. I do not want to be on your bad side. I gotta say, you keep playing like that and you'll be like... Tim status! Tim who? Tim! Like the legend of Tim Tim. On the signs! Like one! Okay? Like you could. People could like already be talking. They're gonna like say stuff. Compare you to Tim. I'm not here to be a Tim, I just want to get home. But that's like exactly what makes you Tim status. Tim didn't want to be Tim either. He got his whole team home. Listen, I still feel super bad about taking out your friend. I owe you, so if you ever need anything, you just come and ask, shall? No, I mean seriously, I mean anything at all. Like I want to help out people. Well, actually, I'm trying to bribe that guard, face me, and he's hungry. Well, um, if I had some wheat, I would totally give you some. Sadly, I don't have a secret stash, and if you didn't ask, I wouldn't loan you some. Wink. Go ahead. That should be enough for your bread. All of it? 
course, bra. It'll grow back. Just, uh, leave the seeds, yeah? One. Planting as I go. And that's another. <laughs> Sweet! And that should all grow back soon. Nice! Looks like that should be enough for some epic loafage. <laughs> yeah, that means bread. Hopefully bread will be enough to get that face meat guy to help me. Righteous. They don't let us use crafting tables, though. Then I guess I'll just have to make my own. Where can I get some wood planks? Hey, I remember a bunch of, like, wood planks by the dojo. I think they train by, like, punching them or whatever, you know? Thank you, Nell. Hey, no problem. Happy to help. Catch you later, yeah? Uh, hey. You're the one that eliminated the one decent member of my team. I'll barely be able to get through to the next round. Then I guess we're even. Oh, no way we're even. You still have a good teammate left. And you still have all your fancy gear. I'm stuck with two blockheads now. Next round. If I don't get you, one of the gladiators will. <sighs> you haven't been here long? So you wouldn't know. Good luck, Em. I know that the best person will win. Seriously? You know you're looking at the best person. I feel kind of bad for you. Most of us got snatched against our wills, but you got tricked into coming willingly. That old builder should have told you these games were impossible. Have you ever won the games? Yeah. I won, but I decided to give up the prize of going home to stay in this awesome place longer. Of course I haven't won. Yeah, well, good luck with getting home. table aha that's some fine crafting let's make some food boom bread now I should be able to get my friends back Um, hello? Hey, face me. Got some bread for you. Bread, huh? Hm. It's not cake, but face meat is starving. Mmm, it's so warm. Please get my friends. <laughs> face meat appreciates the politeness. Hang on. Hey, Petra. Hey, glad to see you already figured out the whole nether portal thing. Lucas and Ivor should be right out. One of those huge guys is getting them for me. Nice, nice. It seems like we keep ending up in situations. First with Palma, now with that stupid sploof game. Well, what I'm trying to say is, thanks. You know, don't make this awkward. It was just on my mind, and... Petra, I thought you were gonna die. Me too. I'm glad Lucas and Ivor respawned. I, I can't even... I don't want to imagine. Ugh. Not gonna think about it. I'm glad you're with me in this, Petra. Me too. Here! Oh! Oh, Respawns! Jesse. Man, is it good to see you. You too, Lucas. And Ivor. Uh, what are you wearing? Right. Shut up. My outfit breathes wonderfully. Anyway, how's it been going out here? You, uh, 
You don't have our stuff by any chance, do you? He's worried about his diary. I'm working on that. It's tricky, though. Well, don't beat around the bush. What has Harper gotten us wrapped up in? Yeah, Harper is a tricky one. Now that you guys are out, we need to be careful. If Petra and I don't win the next round, we're gonna all be sent back through that nether portal. No, no way. Hey, Jesse, I need to talk. <laughs> It's pretty bad in there, Jesse. They don't even do anything to keep the pigmen away, so they just... Uh, stare at you while you mine. Lucas, I'm sorry, we can't just leave. We made a deal. We have two more games to compete in. Well, hopefully we can get that over with quick. Apparently this guy Tim did it. That's true. He's all they talk about in the mines. Guess he won the games a long time ago and got all of his team home. They say he was three blocks tall and that he carried his entire team across the finish line. Yeah, it's super fishy. Well, you're out of those mines now. According to Harper...